The UAV spam in Infinite Warfare is 100% real. UAVs are everywhere, and as you can see in the background gameplay, I shoot down a ton in just one half of the game. And it's like that in pretty much every game I've played so far in Infinite Warfare. And to make things worse, there's tons of other ways to get marked on the minimap, by perks, rigs, and even gun variants. So it's 100% crucial for you guys to stay off the minimap in any way you can. So I've come up with four quick tips for you guys to stay off the minimap. And before I was doing this in my first games of Infinite Warfare, I was getting horribly wrecked. I was going awfully negative. People seemed to know where I was at all times, and no matter what I did, I'd always get flanked and killed in some ridiculous way. But after I did these four things, it completely changed the game for me. And I was getting kills left and right, easy kills. Nobody knew where I was. It was like I was completely off the grid and getting very easy kills and having very good games. So let's jump into these four things. The first one is obvious, and that is to use the ghost perk when you get it. It obviously keeps you off the radar, and because the spam is so real, that's such a huge benefit. But the main problem with this is, is that you get ghost at level 18, which is pretty far off, so you have to wait a long time in order to use this. But once you get it, definitely throw it on. The second thing you need to do is try out some of the other perks that help with this. One of them specifically is Hardwired. That helps you stay off the minimap from any other things that aren't UAVs, like rig traits and perks and even some of those gun variants. So definitely use Hardwired once you get that too. Jumping into the third way is you have to use a silencer. This is one of the most crucial ones. I can't stress this one enough. Before I was using a silencer, whenever I fired my gun, I always saw two or three enemies jump on me immediately, and the second I put it on, it was a completely different game. So this is a brand new game, there's tons of different guns to use, and you guys are going to want to use each one and level it up so that you can get challenges and XP and level up and prestige. But I definitely recommend just sticking with one gun just until you get a silencer, and that'll help you play a lot better, get more kills, have better games, and in the end, rank up faster too. So definitely go for a silencer on the gun. And the final way is to shoot shit down. Spend that one class point on a launcher. The basic launcher that you have when you first get custom classes is a Spartan launcher. And that is a lock-on launcher with three shots. So you could basically shoot down three UAVs or counter UAVs with this launcher right off the bat in one life. And like I already mentioned, I'm already doing this in the background gameplay, and it's really, really helping me limit the enemy UAV spam, especially when a game's not going so well for my team. And on top of that, it gets you a ton of XP, because each shootdown gets you 75 XP, and on top of that, you get tons of challenge XP and stuff, so that's going to help you rank up a lot faster as well. And even if you guys don't want to spare that extra point, just try to shoot it down with your gun. I mean, I was using the NV4 suppressed, which doesn't have very good range at all, especially for shooting at UAVs, which are so far away. And I was able to take them down in one and a half, maybe two clips. So if you guys have bullets to spare or you have more long range weapons, definitely try to shoot them down with your gun. So you don't have to use that extra class point if you really don't want to. So that's it for this video guys, I just wanted to share with you guys that it's absolutely crucial that you stay off the minimap and there's so many different ways you can get put on it, so I wanted to give you guys these four quick tips to help address the UAV spam as well as the different perks, rig traits, and variants that are going to put you on the minimap just so you guys can play a lot better and hopefully you'll have as much of a change as I did. I went from going horribly negative to going very well positive, even holding 2-3 KDs. So. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you learned something new and hopefully you can use this when you play. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered tips and tricks. I'll catch you guys in the next video.